right? So let's take a look at this. Here I'm in my Obsidian repo, which is basically my nodes. So what I'm going to do is open a random node here in this directory. Just bring the volume down a little bit. And um, I'm just going to open a node that doesn't have too much text in it. Okay, so that's the goal. I think I'll be able to use this one because I don't have a lot of information here. So you're going to be able to see this warnings. Try to use title, case, and headings. Notice that this document has 11 in total. We can see that here at the very bottom, right? So I'm going to bring up trouble so that I can see all of them in the same place and fix them. So in my specific case, I use the lazy vim distro. So it's just leader X capital X. That is just for this specific file. I don't want to open it project wide. Okay, so I'm just going to jump to the window here and we can see all the different misspellings in this file. Okay, so I'm going to fix them just so you can see how this works. I'm going to type here space and uh, which key is going to show up. This is under C because it's a code action. Then I'm going to type the letter A. Notice that it says here, replace with proxmox. And it's telling me try to use title in case headings. So let's do it. I guess it's a convention that is followed in headings. Harper knows better than me. So I'm just going to hit enter here. What do we see next? Again, um, title case. Just going to type leader or space CA again. Replace this with table of contents. Okay. In uppercase letters. Let's do it. It's fine. Let's see what it shows here. Replace with its. Okay. Because right now it shows it's the, okay. Base CA, gonna replace it. Again, uppercase in headings. I'm just going to um, fix that as well. This sentence does not start with a capital letter. That's pretty interesting. So I'm gonna do it here, letter CA again. And it's just going to replace that word with an uppercase T. I don't need to fix this. It doesn't start with a capital letter, but I don't care about that because that's the way that it's supposed to be. Because this is um, allowed in my blog post. So, or is it a call out? I don't remember, but let's just ignore this. So I'm just gonna do space CA and it gives me some options. Replace or ignore. I think the ignore is just for this session. Not exactly sure, but you can check it out in the documentation. I'm just going to hit enter here. It ignores it. Let's do it here again. Okay. What is it doing? TH. Okay. No, this is a mistake because instead of the E, I type the symbol, but it doesn't recognize it. So I'm just going to help it here and replace it with the, okay. Title case in headings again, just going to place that. And this sentence does not start with a capital letter. Okay, the A and replace it. Notice that I don't have any warnings left in this file. So I'm just gonna close this window here at the bottom. And this document looks good. Doesn't have any misspellings. And I did it relatively fast, you know. It would have taken me a long time to do it manually. Let's jump to a different file. Just gonna jump to my daily notes, which is where I have the notes for this video, actually. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I have six misspellings. You can see that here at the very bottom. Let's bring up trouble again. Leader X, capital X, just for this file. And the first one is this. Avoid using offensive language because I have that bad word in there. Let's see what it suggests. Replace it with this, this. Let's do it with this. Let's see what happens. Okay. And um, did you mean to spell iOS this way? No, I didn't. Oh, but it does not recognize iOS. Okay. Let's say that I wanted to spell the iPhone iOS. Okay. And it's giving me this suggestions here. I think this is good feedback for the Harper team, just in case they watch this video. 
So, uh, I don't want to replace it with any of those. So, seems that I would have to do it manually. I have to come up here. And uh, is this the right way of spelling it? Yep, yep, yep. The first person singular subject pronoun must be capitalized. Okay, let's see. Code actions. Okay, let's fix it. What about this one? The canonical dictionary spelling is title case. Okay, so uppercase Harper. Replace that. Consider simplifying to all the. Okay, because I have all of the and it's just recommending all the. So let's replace that. Spotify with uppercase letter. Let's fix that as well. And uh, use a space after a comma. What is it doing here? Okay. I don't know what it's doing there. Let's see, Harper. What's going on? Some time ago. Oh, I don't know what happened. Let's go back. All the Spotify. Spotify. I don't know what happened. Something weird happened, but it fixed it now. So I don't have any misspellings in this file except for this one. It didn't recognize this, but the Neobim spell file did recognize it. So that's a question that I have as well for Elijah. Because um I can fix it with the Neobim spell file. I have a key map leader M S and um, S spelling suggestions and the Neobim spell file is going to fix it. I don't know why Harper didn't recognize it. My question to Elijah is, should I disable spell? Because I would like for Harper to do everything. I don't want to have both spell and Harper. But I don't know if Harper depends on spell or what. So if someone watches this, let me know in the comments, please. Okay. Now, what is this thing that I'm talking about? And is it only available for Neobim? Because I'm in Neobim right now. And uh, no, it's not. Let me bring up the um, documentation real quick. This is Harper, the private grammar checker. So here you can go over all the different stuff in the documentation, you're going to notice that it's available for Obsidian as a Chrome extension, Firefox, WordPress, ES, Beep, Neovim, Helix, Emacs, Zed, Sublime, and I don't know, you can pretty much run it everywhere. So if you want to install it in your specific editor, go and read the documentation. There is this pretty interesting thing about the dictionaries. Where is it here? It has four kinds of dictionaries. Okay, so you can modify them. I modified the user dictionary. Its location is configurable. So if you see that, you can configure it here. User dict at. So all of it is explained in the documentation, but I'm going to show you later on where I configure that. You know, actually, let me show you right now. So if I jump here to my dot files and I go to my LSP config, LSP config file, and then LSP config. You'll be able to see here, user dict add. Here's the different changes that I had performed. You can go and find all of this in my dot files. And I'm going to leave, of course, the link in the video description so you can go and check them out there. Now, this is pretty interesting. There is times in pretty large documents that you have a word that is misspelled, I don't know, 10, 20, hundred times depending on how big that document is there is an issue for this already because it hasn't been implemented it was closed by mistake but it was reopened and uh, Elijah replied well he replied in discord actually let me show you their discord real quick where is it here under Neovim there's a discord channel so if you want to you can join there as well as you see here, Elijah doesn't have time to fix this at the moment, but he will probably take a look at it in the future. Or if someone wants to help with this, they can do so, submit the PR, he'll review it and accept it if it's all good. Now, in case you're wondering, who is this Elijah guy? Because I keep talking about Elijah and uh, you guys are like, 
We don't even know who this guy is. Let me show you real quick. If I jump back here and uh, I have a video. Let's see this one. It's an hour and a half long. I talked to Elijah and we just talked about Harper there. Did you want to go and check it out as well? I also created another video in which I showed how to configure Harper. Where is that video? Is this one. This is 10 months old. If you want to go and learn more about it, go and check it out as well. I'm going to leave it in the video description too. So my configuration. I already did this. I already showed you my NVIM LSP config file. You will be able to find it in GitHub. I'm going to leave the link for this file in the video description. And also make sure that you add it to Mason. Okay, so here's my Mason file and here's Harper. That's the way that I install it, but you don't have to do it that way. You can just open Mason pretty much and um, add it there. Notice that there's some updates. Yeah, it's continually updated. So make sure that you come and update it here. Notice that 1.4.1 is available. You can update. Just going to type uppercase U. It's going to update all of them. And uh, you would find that under LSP. This section here. Harper LS, in case that you need to install it. Well, I already have it installed. That's why it shows at the top, but you'll be able to see it here at the bottom somewhere. So that's the way that you can install it. I'm gonna mark this, uh, this, my config. Okay, now Harper is only available in English, Spanish, Chinese, Japanese. I don't know what other languages, no, just English, but it has all the dialects. I don't know what that means. Elijah mentioned that in the podcast and I don't know what he's talking about, but uh, just so that you're aware as well. Now, all of the different interviews that I run in the channel with different people are available as podcasts in Spotify, um, Amazon Music, is that a thing? Apple Music, whatever. All of them are there in case they don't want to watch them, but you want to listen to them, you'll be able to find them there. The last thing that I want to do is thank the CEOs web 3 web23.com and all of the different YouTube members. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. If you want to become a member, I'm going to leave the link somewhere down here, I think, so you can go and do so. If you like the video, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe, all that stuff. And hope this was useful. I'll see you in the next.